What's going on guys? So today I'm fulfilling a request actually made by one of my students who approached me and asked me to do uh, like protein balls. So we're gonna do two variations today. So with protein balls guys, they're awesome for on the go. They can be quite nutrient dense. And what we're gonna do today is try and make the most out of fresh flavors and fresh ingredients. So they take no time at all. So let's get straight to it. Okay guys, so our first recipe is a chopped peanut butter ball. So all we need to do is blend down one cup of muesli in a food processor. So I find it best not to blend it up too fine guys. Uh, it does provide a great texture to the dish, especially when there's those little uh, bitey bits in there. Then in the mixing bowl guys, we're just gonna add one banana. Just gonna mash this down as well with a fork. And what the banana does is it works as like a glue or like a binding agent for uh, protein balls. So now we're gonna add two tablespoons of ground dark chocolate. 30 grams of protein powder. I'm just using vanilla Oxyway there by EHP Labs. And about one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. Cool, so mix that all up. Don't worry if you make a mess. Add half our muesli just at first. The reason we add half first guys is it could end up being too dry. Add a bit more as you go, if you feel it needs it. Even add a bit more chocolate if you'd like. You can also add more peanut butter. All right guys, so we need to make sure that we don't have anything too wet. Uh, we are gonna let it set in the fridge for about half an hour. And then we're gonna roll them out. So just cover with plastic. And then refrigerate for half an hour. Okay guys, so our second protein ball recipe is kind of like a almond, apricot and coconut protein ball. Uh, so far I've already ground down about half a cup of almonds just in the food processor. And you'll notice again, I have left it uh, a bit more coarse. Uh, that's just to, to help the texture of the dish. Uh, I find that if you grind it down into like an almond meal, they're, they're too soft and it becomes a bit too gluey. So I'm going to put that aside. We're also going to blend down four fresh dates. Make sure you take the seeds out. And about half a cup of dried apricot. So give them a mix just by themselves. So once they're blended up just like that, we're gonna add a few more things, including 30 grams of protein powder. We're gonna chuck in our almonds from before. And some softened down coconut oil. Start with two tablespoons and then see how you go. So that's looking really good there. Um, just need to make sure that when you squeeze some of the mixture, it is still a bit oily and that's gonna help us uh, roll them out into balls. So then guys, the last thing that we have to do is obviously roll them out. So you're gonna grab a small handful. In front of me there, I've just got some shredded coconut. Roll it into a little ball. Chuck some coconut on top. And then it's done. All right guys, so once you've got them all rolled out, cover them with a bit of uh, cling wrap or plastic wrap, and then chuck them in the fridge for about 30 minutes to about one hour. Now, uh, Chocolate batter's been in the fridge for long enough, nice and firm. What I've done here is actually melted down some more dark chocolate, um, a little bit of peanut butter there as well, and what we're gonna do is have some fun coating them. So again, similar size ball to the apricot ones. Pull it up, roll it in its topping. And with these ones, guys, I have 
a plate just beside me and it's actually covered in uh, plastic wrap again. This is just so they don't stick to don't stick to the plate when they refrigerate one more time. Alright so guys and just like the other the other balls, uh, we're gonna chuck these in the fridge for about probably about at least an, an hour just so the chocolate cools and hardens and they'll be perfect to eat. Mine sticky fingers. There you go. So there we go guys, our protein balls are out of the fridge, they're set, they're ready to eat and I really hope you guys enjoy this one. It is a little bit more guilty than some of uh, the other foods that I make. I mean, we, we deserve that sort of thing every now and then. From this point, guys, I suppose uh, the, the protein balls are a good transition. What I like to do over the next few weeks, guys, is, is like a mini series of cheat eats. So things that we, we try and consume in moderation, okay? So we'll still try and keep the protein content high and good sources of carbohydrates, but um, I, wanna, I wanna try something a bit fun and, you know, Something that uh, you can have every now and then, or at least might be worth trying. Uh, as usual guys, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, any comments, or anything you'd like to see further, uh, like requests like this one, give me a yell in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.